Panaji, how do the practices of Sri Sukta and Rudra Yaga relate to the upcoming Cave of the Heart seminar? And how will the seminar touch upon these subjects? The practice of Sri Sukta and the Rudra Yaga are like Mercedes, Benz, Rolls Royce. All other practices are supportive practices. But important thing is to understand that if the supportive practices are not there, then your Rolls Royce doesn't work. If the gas, if there is no gasoline, what will you do with your Rolls Royce? No. So, the practice of meditation on the cave of the heart, for example, and even many many other ancillary practices which help us do the practice of meditation on the cave of the heart, lotus of the heart. All of them are like gasoline. You know? They help us build the foundation. They help us prepare our body, our breath, our mind, our senses to be ready to undertake those lofty practices which put us in touch with the divinity that is inside us and the divinity that is outside us. These practices, which I'm talking about meditative practices, they are the foundations for undertaking the practices such as Tantra for inner prosperity, which is the focal point of the Sri Sutta, the Tantra of the inner protection, which is the focal point of the Rudrayaga. All these practices, they need to stand on the firm foundation of a disciplined body, healthy, strong, energetic body, a clear, calm, tranquil mind, and pure and sharp intellect. The practice of Lotus of the Heart provides that you know, environment, helps us build that environment. On that environment, then we undertake the, you know, these so-called special practices of Tantra Yoga and Kundalini Yoga. And therefore, even if you have been doing the practice of, let's say, Saru Sutta, it's wonderful to know how to gain access to your inner being. And if you are not doing the practice of Sri Sutta or Rudriyaga, and even if you have not heard the, uh, uh, these words, and if you don't have even any interest in doing those practices, it is just good enough reason why you should become, you know, uh, connected with your own core being. And that's what this uh, practice of the Lotus meditation on the Lotus of the Heart is all about. But yes, there is, of course, they are very much connected. And one, you know, builds the foundation. And another is the your big gigantic uh, structure that you need to build your palace, you know. And you, be, you know, in this island of excellence called human life, human birth. Yeah, that's the relationship between the two.